today the boys and I and Dean after lunch came out to this field down the road from where we live and Dean and the boys are picking blackberries way back on the edge of the field. Can't even see them at this point. And I am out here collecting red clover. So if you look closely at the field, you'll see the purpley pink flowers all over. Here's some up close. And I'm just collecting the flower heads. And I'm going to take them home and dry them. And then I'll stock them in my apothecary for use over the next year. It's July here in East Tennessee, and this is the time to harvest red clover. Should be blooming in full bloom everywhere. Um, I've got almost a whole bucket so far, you can see. My goal is to fill this bucket completely full. Hello. <laughs> and you can see from some of the clover that are here, there are some dried ones. You don't want those. Here's some that haven't fully bloomed. You can harvest those, but they're gonna have more properties when it's fully a fully bloomed flower. Now this would be a good one. It's almost fully bloomed, but you could go ahead and harvest that, but it's a bright, vibrant pink and purple. You can even pick these that are a little bit lighter, but you don't want any of these brown ones that are past their prime. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Doing some summer foraging stocking up for this next year. Now, my plan is to write a blog post about this and some of the ways that I use it and maybe share a couple of red clover recipes with you. I rarely use red clover as a simple or like a single herbal preparation with red clover. I typically formulate with it, which means I mix it with other herbs to make preparations for, you know, different uses. Anyway, just thought I would show you guys what I was up to today. Well, the people They're restored. That's pretty. It's like a two, just a little two-seater. Greenster. Look at the edge there. You can see the engine on that one. You see it? Did you get it, Ezra? Do you have a layer of it? Do you need some more? You need a little bit more blue bits. Do you want mama's help? Oh, good job. You're getting it. Need some more.
Okay, so it's Saturday night and Judah is doing an experiment with a torch. So Jay, if you will explain what this is all about. So this is really just a towel that I wrapped around a stick. Hey, Ron. <laughs> okay, hold on just a second. Okay, okay so anyway, keep going. Yeah. You wrap so, the towel around the stick? This, yeah, I wrap the towel around the stick and wrap copper wire around the towel to keep it straight and soak it in um, diesel. Okay, you can, can I kerosene, see it? You can do gas, but gas is a really dangerous okay, thing. So this do is not just advise an, gas. an old junky towel and it's being held on by that wire and you soaked it in kerosene. You can do kerosene. I did um, diesel. Oh, diesel. Okay. You're gonna soak but it not in gas. That? Nothing too... Too many yeah, vapors. Yeah, gas and probably if you, yeah, gas is too, it, it, the vapors will blow up. This stuff has a really high um, ap uh, evaporation rate, so it won't, uh, the fumes aren't too bad. So it but, doesn't have a high evaporation rate. Yeah, but like, okay, the gas we just would. light it on this. And, All right, so. and it gets really hot, so we have to do it over there. Um, okay, so we're waiting on daddy. And Isaiah. I don't know if he's coming. Well, yeah. We did this earlier and we let it burn for five, seven, ten minutes. And it only got through the first layer of um, towel. There's like four or five. Um, okay. So it should burn for a while. Just whatever you want to do. Whatever whatever you do, don't hold it straight up and don't hold it straight down. Hold it about like this. And if you still want to be safe, hold it like this. Because if you hold it like this, the flames will drip down under your hand. It will like this to climb up the stick and under it. Okay. All right. So, are you ready? Uh, I'd rather do it right here because we don't want to. Okay. Let's go. There's a bunch of kerosene and that is. Or, ah, so I used to go like this. It's kind of dark. It's hard to see what we're doing. Here we go. Someone come and take my lighter. I can. Nice. The torch. It's actually glowing. It gets really hot for a really oh, so long time. Oh, so it does drip. It's dripping fire. Yeah. I see why you wouldn't hold it up. Because you don't want that on your hands. <laughs> if you put, your I head. heard if you put some iron filings on this, I think it's filings, um, then it'll make gold sparks. Iron oh, makes God. gold, and what color makes blue? We read about this in... I can't remember what makes blue, but I'm pretty sure aluminum makes silver. Okay, isn't it sulfur that makes the blue? The sulfur? How about sulfur make red? Maybe no, sulfur I think that red. remember how Uncle Paul did the sulfur shavings and it burns up blue? Oh yeah, Do you remember? sulfur yeah. is the really hot stuff. I don't know if it's really hot. This is really cool, watch this. That stuff stinks. I mean, it really does smell like, like careful. It looks like a fireball when you do that, do that. Yeah, ready? I'm going to make your mom nervous. No, Jay, look, look, Jay, are you ready to do it? Ready? No, 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 no. Come bring it to me. And then, no, no, no. Like, pull it. And then, Hurricane! Ready? Here we go. Hurricane! I'm right here. Alright, be careful, please. I'm scorpion. Ready? Well, I can't do it. He's scorpion. I'm the one holding it. Hurricane! 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 Yeah, I see. It goes it up the climb. stick a little. Hey, Jay. And it's super hot, like hotter than normal. So it's super dark out here, and I don't know if you guys can see anything. I don't think you can, but our front yard is nothing but dirt right now. But it has been smooth for, for the most part, except right here, <laughs> close to the shop. Can you guys see that? There's a big pile of dirt, and that has a little bit more work to do. Everything else has been smoothed down in the front yard, and we're waiting on topsoil. And once topsoil is down, we'll put the grass seed down, but we're pretty much done up here. So this is nice. The boys have been playing in the pond a lot. You can see a car going by, a couple cars. Anyway, the pond's right in front of where those cars sort of are. <laughs> so we've been playing out there. It's been nice. We're on a summer break from school, so 
We're doing a lot of outdoorsy stuff and taking little day trips places. We went to the lake the other day with some homeschool friends and hung out. It was nice. Dean has been working on sheetrock in the study, <laughs> the garage, which is being converted to a study. So he's hung, he went and got like this sheetrock thing of all. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. I don't know if it's a sheetrock jack or I don't know what that thing's called, but it helps hold up the sheetrock. Um, and he's got one more little panel to put up right there. And then the guy that does the sheetrock work for us will come out. He's worked before on our house and he will patch, tape, putty, sand, just finish this off. He does a really great job. Um, and he'll fix anything on the walls that need fixed. Well, let's see, Dean has one more here to put up. And then over here, he's got this little section. It's a little bit higher part of the ceiling right there. So he's got to do that and cut out the little hole for the attic right up there. Um, anyway, so the guy will come and patch all of the walls and get the ceiling back together. And then this garage door opening, we have custom ordered a door to be made handsome and um, that will be built in a little bit more and then the door will go in it'll be a French door and it'll open to the outside yeah. so it's looking good it's still a mess but it it looks more intentional now like there's a there's something happening <laughs> new wall. I don't think we've started a new wall, a new ceiling. We haven't seen a ceiling in here since January where it was hanging down and dripping with water. Um, we still have blown in insulation <laughs> falling everywhere until the ceiling is put back up. And then we've got a light here and a light right there. And then we'll have some wall like lamps and things along to light the room up. These windows don't let a ton of light in, but because we're gonna have this big French door and the sun rises on um, this side, over here by the shop, it should let a lot of morning light in, so that'd be good for school and whatever we're getting into during the day. So anyway, it'll be dark in the evenings over here because the sun will be on the other side, but anyway, this is the progress so far. Okay, so Ezra went to the garden and he picked veggies. Tell us what you picked. So I picked one humongous pepper, this big. A big green pepper. Mm -hmm. And this long, um, <coughs> one fully grown squash that was this long and this big. Mm -hmm. And this kind of circled. And I just got two tiny tomatoes. This one was this big and nice one was this big. Red tomatoes, was, yeah. This big. And, and Mama chopped them all up and we put them I cooked in a them. pan with what? What did we cook them in? Salt and butter. Some salt and butter I and answers. Cooked it. It's good. Is it yummy? I like it. Yeah? What about the pepper? Did the peppers get soft? Or are they still a little crunchy? Oh, they seem soft. They're kind of soft. 1% crunchy. 1% crunchy and 99% soft. All right. No, 100%. Uh -huh. This is like... And your tomatoes, four. they kind of turned into a sauce, yeah. didn't they? Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it good? <laughs> yeah, the yeah. sauce. It gives a flavor. Ezra told me, we've already had dinner, but he told me he wanted some healthy veggies as his second dinner. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for cooking it's a second good. dinner that's healthy. It's good. I like it. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Mm. All right. I love you. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you got something else to say? This squash is the softest, but... It's the best tasting mm -hmm. of the one. Mm -hmm. Hey, show us your knee and tell us what you did to it today. Oh, yeah. So, oh, me yeah. and my brother were, scrap, were, um, what, were pushing the go-kart and it fell. Then the wheel was um, pushing me. Then the world scratched me. Mm -hmm. Now, the go-kart wasn't running. Okay, I it didn't was in neutral and they were just pushing it. Yeah. So, it wasn't running away from you like driving. You mm -hmm. guys were just pushing and you fell. Yeah, Hopefully, um, I didn't cry like that. 
last time when, you when didn't I fell cry. off a six feet cliff, I didn't cry. Oh, I don't think you cried then either. Yeah, I didn't. You for my mom's? Okay. Yeah. You're a tough man, I'm telling you. All right. Mm. All right, summer war it. stories and garden harvests. <laughs> war stories? That's what I said, it's a war story. All right, say bye. Good night. Bye.